I can't believe I ate that whole thing. You ate it, Ralph. <gasps> I can't believe I ate that whole thing. No, Ralph. Podcast. Are we back on? This is a joint. The joint has two ends. It has one end which is rolled shut and another end which is open. Take the joint to the open and facing you firmly between your thumb and index fingers like this. You know what I'm saying? Then you take it and put it in your mouth like this. Then you take out a match, you light it. Put it to the end, and you inhale very deep, deep, like like that. My life in our collective sight, you know, hope for time. Lost in my mind, lost in my mind, lost in my mind, lost in my mind. Really feeling high right now, gotta fly like now, yes sir, yes sir. Got the blunt about the light right now, free my mind like wow, yes sir, yes sir. Got the connect you rolling by right now, by the ride right now. Work, work. Got the dub shack on my lap, about to break it up before we got the murk. Numb to the high when I'm flying, my mind ain't got coke, I snort lines, I got plenty of time, I got stress on my mind, you got something for that, from the coke to the smack, oxycontin, relax, have a wit to the crack, but bet you never thought it feel high like this, got my brain stripping when I'm high like this, I'm a puppet to the plug, die like this, I'm about to die like this, crack rock, got me feeling nauseous, weak from the coffin, beast in the coffin, tweet got me looking like a dead man walking, zombie, I'm rotting, this figure dissolving Catch me with the posse, cause sloppy off Molly with the blondie named Crystal With a friend named Mary Got bass in my face, swing on the trigger Only enemy is me, I'm about to blow I got the shivers so cold Feeling like this body walk around with no soul Sipping and rolling, it got my mind in the coma Got me some next to a roller Grimace my face when I notice It's been a year, never sober It's been a year, never sober Oh man, I'm gonna take my life Narcotic suicide, got no hope for time Lost in my mind, lost in my mind, lost in my mind, lost in my mind. Oh man, I'm gonna take my life, narcotic suicide, got no hope for time. Lost in my mind, lost in my mind, lost in my mind, lost in my mind. Oh God, give me one try, please God, give me one more try. Snaps. That was the dream. Look back at the clock and the clock stroke three. Palm so sweaty in my heart beating happy. Remember when I used to talk a clock to smoke daily. So hey, my eyes be now that I'm wide awake. Thinking to myself, I should slow my thoughts down and stop and pray. Pray for the homies that be headed down the wrong path. Thankful that I stopped the coke and hope and I never relapse. What's the truth and the facts? And what's the facts to a team? Well, honestly, I can never give you stats. But I can let you know the scene. That you show them who keep up with growing till you have the food up its work Hoping your work isn't cursed Cause in the moment, yes, it feels so right But remember these few words from tonight And I'm just like I really got it good Thank God that I, I made it out the hood The trap ain't for me My brain should have been fried By the age of 18 Oh God, the my like, damn I really got it good Thank God that I, I made it out the hood all right.
Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the I Music Podcast. I'm your host, Omar. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. I'm going to do this quick intro intro real quick so I won't take too much space, I guess you would say, on the for the audio because I don't want to split it up. You know the story. This is episode 47 of the I Music Podcast. And you just heard right now, Narcotic Suicide. Once again, you just heard Narcotic Suicide from uh, Ace the Vic. Ace the Vic is a hip-hop artist from Calipat Brawley area, I believe representing both. You can find his music on soundcloud.com slash ace the vig. That's at soundcloud.com slash ace the vig. And he just dropped an album called Bygones. And on soundcloud.com, you can find that album called Bygones. And uh, I really like the story. I really like the backstory that ace the vig is uh, talking about. And he stopped by and we just uh, talked about his backstory. And that was pretty interesting and it was fun. I was interested in what, what he had to say and what he was you know, what his music was about, and, because I heard his music at first, and I was interested in hearing, and hearing what, you know, how I was created, I guess you would say, because I heard his music first, I never knew, I never knew Ace of Vig till the shows, so, by having the shows, I met Ace of Vig, and, uh, yeah, I heard the music, and I was like, oh man, this just sounds, you know, pretty hard, and pretty heavy, so I was like, man, I'm gonna try to get him on the podcast, and we, we linked it up, so it happened, and he shared a story, man, and I, I was, I was interested. I was listening. Um, I was just sitting here, and I was just, you know, just listening to what he had to say. And he had a lot, of, he had a lot of stuff to say. So thanks, Ace of Vig. Uh, this is episode forty-seven, you know, for stopping by. Episode forty-seven of the I Music Podcast, and thanks to him for stopping by. Thanks, man. Uh, once again, you can find his music on SoundCloud.com/slash Ace of Vig. You're gonna, you just heard a narcotic suicide, like I said. And uh, we're now about to hear Midnight Lurkers, just in case if I forget to get into it, I forget. To get into it, you can hear Midnight Lurkers. You're also going to hear a Cause and Effect, uh, The Testimonial, and A Vice and Virtue. All, all songs by on the album Bygone, so go ahead and look that up on SoundCloud.com slash Ace of Vig. Uh, yeah, it's episode 47 of the I Eat Music Podcast. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing great. Today is September 22nd, here on a Tuesday. Uh, a couple of albums that just dropped is... Uh, Album by PL. He just dropped an album called Restricted. You can find that on audiomac.com. Go ahead and check that out. That's at www.audiomac.com. It's an album called Restricted by PL. And PL just dropped. PL stopped by at the shows. He played a show not too long ago. So go ahead and, you know, cop that album called Restricted. Go ahead and look that up. Also, another album that is going to be releasing on October 10th is an album called Destroy Yourself by Halfway Ghost. You can find that album on www.halfwayghost.com slash <laughs> www.halfwayghost.bandcamp.com. You can find that at, that's an album called Destroy Yourself. It's going to be released on October 10th. Go ahead and check that out. Um, you can pre-order it. You can pre-order it now. It's available. If you pre-order it now, it's going to be, you get, I believe, three tracks, three, three unreleased tracks from them. So if you want to pre-order it, go ahead and check that out. So there's a couple albums that I just wanted to plug real quick that dropped, that are going to drop and that just dropped recently. And yeah, this is the Ag Music Podcast. I'm your host, Omar. This is episode 47. I'm trying to get this out the way real quick because uh, I don't want to get said. I don't want to take too much space. A couple of events on October 10th actually is a halfway, halfway Ghost album release show, Destroy Yourself. They're going to be celebrating... Uh, you no, know, I guess like a like an album release, you know, playing their whole full record, and I suggest you check it out. October tenth, here at the I Eight HQ. <laughs> Go ahead and stop by. October tenth, another event is uh, October first at a Strangers Bar. <clears throat> He's gonna have an event out there, and he's gonna have an event uh, October first with a couple bands actually from uh, Thelma, uh, this band called Thelma and the uh, Sleaze, I believe. That's what I wrote right here. I'm reading my own notes. I did some show prep, if you could tell. Try to keep it, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think it's going to have Thelma and the Sleaze. Um, they're from Nashville, Tennessee. They'll be out here. And also uh, the Soaks from San Diego. They'll be here at Strangers Bar October 1st. Uh, I believe the flyer. We'll look out for the flyer. Um, you can find the flyer maybe on at Strangers Bar. Uh, on Instagram, I believe, and all the, everybody's everybody that I just plug right now are all on Instagram. I believe at P to the L is on Instagram. That's at PL, and then you also got at Halfway Ghost, 
and then at Ace the Vig on Instagram. Also, at Strangers on Instagram. Find them all on Instagram. That's where they do all the, you know, the plugs and stuff like that. So go ahead and check them out. And you can find me at the I Eat Music Podcast on Instagram as well. I'll promote, you know, some of the events, flyers, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this is episode 47 of the I Eat Music Podcast. I think I'm done for the day. I read all my notes. I wanted, to, I wanted to keep it notes just so I could keep it a little structure. But you don't need to know that. Or maybe you do, since you heard the other episodes, since, you know, kind of just keep it relaxed. But today I, did some, I wrote some notes down because I don't want to, you know, get these plugs out the way. And, yeah, right now you're about to hear Midnight Lurkers by Ace of Vig. And then we'll go ahead and go to the interview. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening. Actually, you know, you guys haven't stopped by, but there's a show this Saturday September 26th, featuring our friends, at, by our friends called Ash Williams, here at the I Music Podcast HQ, September 26th, and yeah, I'm your host Omar, I'm done for the day, see you guys later. I'm a spray, I'm a spray, I'm a spray em up. Got my tried arms and my rustos in the trunk. I don't want war if you do, we got the grown. Goes my nines in the dome. I'm a spray, I'm a spray, I'm a spray em up. Got my tried arms and my rustos in the trunk. I don't want war if you do, we got the grown. Goes my nines in the dome. Rolling with my posse, if a bust it, catch me sloppy Then I'm popping with a nine in my fist, I'm kamikaze Got that quite long pink dotty and a 12-gauge shoddy Yo, we acting hella naughty, got some thotties, call me poppy And I'm hitting up this wally, homie, this ain't an annual to me Catch a roller, throwy boy, I thought you knew was Gucci B Hitting Buddha out the piece, snort some cocoa, cop a key F the popos, I'm a G, catch a tag, that West Coast Cali Steve I'm a freaky freak, hit that bleasy bust a piece Got some pain up in my nosey and a war that I've been peeping This some whack faculty for battling me Said they be weak as can be, I pack up my baggy and flee Yo, I'm racking the pain, I be labeled a crook Murder a tan in a minute for good Mobbing through streets, I be mobbing on wood I be putting my name on the walls in your hood Like yo, 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 yelling that to my homie Smelling some aerosol fumes coming from off me like what could that be? Pull up my bag and they're reaching in the seat. Oh snap, I think this can is busted. GS. Soon as I looked up to see the 5 0 rode up right in front of me. Had me cuffing the back seat faster than both my eyes can blink. Dozens of graffiti vandals are under arrest tonight after a massive bust. Among those arrested, several gang members who left their mark on the city in it. Locked in a brick cell, ain't really that cool. Only thing I had was a blanket made out of wool. Such a fool, thought I was invincible for the night. No, look at me, caught up in doing time, doing time right. I was passed by, I had some time to think. Wonder what my mama's gonna say. Wonder if my dad's gonna snap. This is whack as I lay my back on that 4x4 four four bed made of bricks and wax. Damn. I guess it's what I deserve. Could have been worse. Could have got blasted up, busting nerves. This is a definite lesson. Hoping that I learn from it and pass from this discretion. Learning that my ego's in the trash when I'm in prison. It's time to man up to the consequence of my decisions. Now I know why they would always tell me to listen. Like, I just want, I just want to go. I don't wanna be up in this cell no more I regret my past and that time is passing slow I just really wanna go home I just want, I just want, I just wanna go I don't wanna be up in this cell no more I regret my past and that time is passing slow I just really wanna go home Cause I just want, I just want, I just wanna go I don't wanna be up in this cell no more I regret my past and the time is passing slow I just really, I just really wanna go home. Just want, I just want, I just wanna go. I don't wanna be up in this cell no more. I really grab.
that my past and time is fast and slow in brawley but my dad always had us like rapping and stuff like he would have like my cousin like write out rhymes for us and we'd like rap and he would like rap over his beats and stuff okay so your dad so, would make beats also yeah, yeah my dad dude oh, nice. and my dad is he still makes music yeah. too but he was like really really good right. dude. like he he was super creative and he's still creative like every time and every time i perform to he's the one on the keys okay. like if you ever see a dude on the keys that's my pops right there right dude. yeah so uh, yeah that's that's your homie's, what's your name again? and then this is my homie Christian, Christian, yeah, yeah, okay. it's my homie AKA, Christian, aka BD. Yeah. We've been homies, dude, since right. like second grade. But he's also on the come up, like he's also making music as yeah. well. But we're I, we can't talk about it right now because yeah. it's still in the process. We, we're still like, he's still you know coming up with like a concept for right. you know his name and okay. what what yeah. he wants still to building. Still yeah. building, still okay. building, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, right. let me give you a proper introduction. You know what sure. I mean? Yeah. For sure. All right, so what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the I Music Podcast. For now, we just heard Midnight Lurkers, right? Midnight Lurkers, man. All right, and Midnight Lurkers is by an artist I hear from Calipat, I want to say. I'm from Calipat, bro. Yeah. I live in Brawley, but I represent Calipat. Right. That's my heart. Right I got in the studio right now, Ace the Big. Woo. Woo woo! How's it going, man? How you doing, man? Yeah, in the background. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm doing good, dude. Yeah. I got also, out here. also in the studio, guys, homie Christian. My homie Christian, yes. BD, right here. It's right. my brother. Nice, <laughs> what's nice. up with that? What's up? Hell yeah. What's up, Ace? How you doing, man? How you doing today? I'm actually doing really well. Yeah. Today's a cool day. Okay. Was not productive for me because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this dude stay, stayed out late last night. Just yeah. kicking. It was a beautiful night last right, night, it dude. Was, man. So we were just like mobbing around. Those nice days are coming around. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. But I just like slept in yeah. today. But yeah, dude, uh, today's a beautiful day. I mean. That's good, man. Hell yeah. yeah I'm glad, for you, sure. glad you're here, man. You know what I mean? For sure. Thank There's you for a- having me. Yeah, this is sure. Ace of Vig or Ace of the Vigorous. Would you prefer yeah. both or um, what would you prefer? So the thing about that is like Ace the Vig is, especially for promotion, it's right. more easier to just throw Ace the Vig. It's catchy. You know what I mean? But I can say Ace of the Vigorous. My name has a meaning. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's legit like every single word like coming together is a full meaning, you know, and we can get into that later now, right. whatever, but my but name. But what does Ace the Vig mean? Yeah, go for it. Ace, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so basically Ace after Vigorous, right. what it means in Hebrew is um bringing people together vigorously so asaph in hebrew means the convener which means someone that you know has people like brings people together the convener or the collector okay you know and and vigorous means you know vigorous Mm -hmm. like strong courageous you know without fear right so basically the whole term is like bringing people together without fear and like Honestly, I can say that that name has been on me even before I put that name on me. Like, I've always been a person to bring people together, you know, right. whether it be my homies, like when I used to, and we'll get into it with Midnight Lurkers because I used to do, I was really deep into graffiti too. Okay. And it, from me, you know, bringing homies together through graffiti or from my last event, bringing people and, and um, artists together right. that, you know what I mean? My okay. last event, if if you guys weren't able to make it to it. What was your last event, man? My last event that I threw was my album release party. Right. And whoever wasn't able to make oh, it, Oh, yeah, was on Brawley, right? Yeah, 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 I was on Brawley. It was a beautiful experience. Just to see all these local, like, brands and um, foundations come okay. together right. and just to have a good time, you know yeah. what I mean? And my name, I like... What I represent is that, like, unity, you know what I mean? My name represents unity and right. just bringing people together because that's how I've always been, you right. know, as a child, just being a leader and, and learning to bring people together. That's what my name means. Okay. But, excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> a problem. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> no, but, yeah, um, I mean, that's what the meaning means. And honestly, dude, right now where I'm at in life, like, I really – that's – my perspective of what my name means now like in a right. couple of years it can change and i can be like I'd okay. be like oh this is what my name means now you know but from my perspective now my name ace the vig is someone that that's bringing people together and and just unity okay. basically it means unity nice. uh, and, and like strength you nice. know you okay. need strength that's what, yeah, my name what you need you need people to get straight exactly. like, i mean hell yeah exactly. nice ace the vigorous you know yeah and when you start rapping man when was you um, first started so i first started rapping like i said before um probably when i was like six or seven but seriously mm-hmm. rapping I'd say probably like my sophomore year in high school, me and the homies, we just come together and like freestyle. Right. But I've always had a pat like a love for for rap, like hip hop in general. Like I've all like you know Doom, freaking Living Legends, KRS. Like I could go off on all these. Like I've always had a love for you know, and I love to dig and find these freaking artists like yes. freaking Carnage the Executioner, um, uh, Quell and Maker. Like I could name all these you know super underground artists and these are all the dudes i looked up to and i've always cherished it but i never really invested into it right like like these last two years that i have been pushing but i started yeah in high school 
it was real simple. I, we had equipment too. My dad's always had equipment, but I never really like. I don't know. I'm saying I recorded, but I never really took it serious. You know okay. what I mean? So I started. I I would say I started really taking it serious, like probably like in 2012. Like that's so. Would you say I, your dad was one of the main reasons you got into music? Definitely. Yeah. The if my, I didn't have the dad I had today, I would not be who oh. I am. I would not be making music or any of that. I would not have interest in any of this. But my dad pushed me to you know become who I am today. Okay. And two, like I didn't even like to play instruments but my dad like at a young age he got me on the drum set like i started playing drums too like at six right so he just pushed me you know what i mean and like there was days where like i don't want to freaking play the drums but he was like dude just practice and practice and from playing the drums it got me into production and from you know what i mean it yeah. just it it was a great way for me to start you know what i mean it was a good push from right my, my so you pops. started production first yeah production okay. first and then yeah I, I began to like start writing raps and I would show the homies and like my homies would be like, yo, this is like not bad, you right. know? And that's when I began to like, you know what? I can actually do this and like sound good. Right. You know what I mean? And then it was too like in the beginning though, because my voice was like changing. So I didn't like, I didn't like my voice. Like right. I was like, dude, I don't know if I sound cool, but I would show my homies. I would always show my homie BD and just my, the circle of friends around me. I never really pushed it out because okay. I kind of want to like perfect my craft. You know right. what I mean? But you know, I would say like after a while and Two, like, I've been doing this for years. So, like, I think people, when they first share my stuff, they're like, wow, dude, did you just start? But I'm like, no, dude, I did not just start. I've been, like, freaking perfecting my craft. You know, I've been really, right. really, really working on my music. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, like, out of high school, I'd say, like, in 2012, my senior year is when I, I decided, you know what, I'm going to pursue music. And okay. I'm going to, you know, pursue this, yeah. like, Will career. it be active at it? Exactly. Yeah, okay, really exactly. hard. Nice, dude. And then, so you started writing. And what is so? What, what were you rapping about? Midnight Lurkers, right now, since we so, just heard it, you know. Okay, so Midnight Lurkers. So, and I'm gonna come out. I I want to come out with the visual for this, like a, a documentary style um, video. So anyone that's hearing this, you guys are getting a little inside scoop. I want to release. You know, uh, it's basically gonna be a documentary style um, video talking about my album Bygones. And what my album Bygones means, like Bygones means the past. So everything I'm talking about in my this last album Bygones is basically my past and how I got through that past and and um, just um, just my the awakening, like spiritual awakening that I had and what I'm doing now to help, um, I guess, mend that past and the past mistakes. And Midnight Lurkers is just the aspect of like um, just one side of, I guess you can say like the weaknesses I had in like the um little like vices um that were like uh i, I don't know what he's how, how to explain it mm -hmm. but like stigmas that that were attached to me when i was younger you know okay. what i mean like and i was really into graffiti like you'll hear my songs i was really i got super deep into graffiti because of my because of my my uncle and my dad too they right. both did graffiti right so i got really deep into graffiti really deep into drugs you know what i mean and okay. really just deep into violence okay. and all that so midnight lurkers the song talks about and everything that i say in that song is like true and i you know there's rappers yeah. that they rap and they don't do anything they talk about midnight lurkers i from beginning to end was a legit like bro like nice. scene played out and everything i say legit happened and right. that <clears throat> that song talks about when i first got arrested for um well, I, it was possession of, uh, what is it, vandalizing tools. I, that's what I got arrested for okay. in that song. But it talks about, you know, the hype, the hype of, like, doing graffiti. And I'm not knocking any – I have a lot of homies. I love graffiti, but right. it's just the reality of graffiti. Yeah. If you're going to want to bomb up – The perspective of people think about Exactly. Yeah. If you're going to want to bomb, be ready for the consequences. Yeah. Like, be ready to get locked up, okay. and it's not all hype. Like, right. in the beginning, it says, I'm going to spray, I'm going to spray, I'm going to spray them up. You know, got my cry lawns and my rustos in the trunk. Y'all don't want war. If you do, we got the chrome. But, but, but goes my nine to the dome. And then at the end, it goes, um, ah, ah, crap. I just want, I just want to go home. I don't want to be up in the cell no more. So it's basically like taking two ends, the realistic side. Like when you're bombing too, like that's one thing about graffiti for me. It, it, it like, it's, you get, it gives you a rush. Just like drugs. Right. It's just like a drug, dude. Okay. You can be addicted to yeah. graffiti. And would you it say gives, that that's like growing up in Calipat? Yeah. yeah. Is that why? It okay. So, why? so yeah. So man, it, I, it's a long story too. I, I'm gonna break it down though. Good like, time. so before I even moved to Calipat, I was from Calipat. We I would move back from Calipat to Indio, like okay. since I was a kid. And um, and being a kid, I, I grew up with my uncle and his name, my uncle Donnie. He, he writes Laz, Laz right. Warner. And 
he him and my pops they both did graffiti my dad was a graffiti writer and he basically handed it down to my uncle because my my uh my mom and dad raised my uncle because uh, my grandpa was a heroin addict and, right. and my grandma had passed away at a young age my, when my mom was only like 13 so my mom basically became the mom of the house you okay. know what i mean and um they raised my uncle so when my uncle was probably like 18, 19, he always had me around him. Like me and my my older brother were like always next to him. And I really got influenced by my uncle because he's like right. an older brother. You know what I mean? So moving back to because he's from Indio. He lives in Indio. He's from the Valley, but he moved over there just and that's where like he stayed. So uh, uh, it was a, it was um, I'd say it was like my freshman year, uh, eighth grade to freshman year. I moved to Indio and that's when I began to really get into graffiti. OK. And um, I was, like, under his wing. He had a crew out there. I'm not going to mention any names or any right. of that, but I'll just keep it, you know, real basic. Okay. But I um, I was involved with this crew, and, like, I was under him. I, not he, he wasn't there, like, oh, like, telling me, but I looked up to him, and I would always hit his crew up and be like, yo, I want to be involved with this. Right. But the thing about in the Coachella Valley is, like, the graffiti, the gang mm. lifestyle and that graffiti lifestyle is really, it's just dangerous. Right, but you it's know, real. It's real over yeah. there. Like, over here, I thank God that it's not as bad here because over there, if you got to be about yeah. it or you're going to get killed. Right. Like, you know, I have owned, I've had lots of homies, like, stabbed, okay. freaking shot at. Like, right. oh, that's, you have Painting to, over arts and stuff. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. So, over there, like, I didn't care. I didn't care because my uncle and all his homies, they were like the top dogs. Okay. You know what so I mean? Felt they, safe and shit. I felt safe, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, psh, they ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. And that's how I was. Like, okay. I would bang on anybody. I didn't right. care because my uncle always had my back. You right. know, he was always right there. But it got to a point where, like, these dudes were trying. They're, it was just, I, I had started going to this school called Charter School, and, and just the area I was in was in not in the right, you know, area. Right. And some fools wanted to jump me or whatever. So, like, at the end of the day, um what what ended up happening at that school was um these dudes wanted to jump me they they tried to pull like a sick sick one on me like yeah. i used to skate and um i had a, another friend his, his name was john or whatever and right. he was like yo dog you need to check out this dope spot it's next to the school this and that and um supposedly he was in that same the, the opposite crew like the the other crew that my my uncle's crew was beefing it with so i go and check out the spot and it's behind it was like in an alley and um, I seen like a yard, like probably like ten feet away, and there right. was like mad heads in the oh, back, shit, and they were yeah. just waiting for me. Fuck. So I booked it, dude. Right. I booked it. And um, the next day when my uncle dropped me off at school, they started throwing bricks at his car, and yeah. and then he had his his newborn baby in the car. Okay. So there was just all this drama. Really after you and they shit. They were yeah, after yeah, me okay. though. They yeah, after yeah. me. They knew who I was, so they're after me. So it's wilding out. Yeah, yourself. it was getting yeah, crazy, okay. bro. And then at this same time, um, over here in the valley, my my great grandpa was getting really sick, and um, no one was really taking well, not no one was really taking for care of him. But my parents wanted a, like a system in that. Right. So uh, all this is going on, crazy violence in Indio. My my great grandpa's getting sick over here, so we decided to move over here. Number one, because of me, like right. my parents were scared. Okay. Like my mom was like my mom and dad were scared. We were having like meetings, like yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I mean, like yo, like you need what's going on with exactly. Yeah, it what was are you getting, doing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So I move. We move over here, thinking you know, like everything is gonna be better. But the thing was, like my mentality was still there. You right. Know what I mean? So legit, I brought that here. Okay. So when I moved to Calipat. Me and this guy started a crew, a graffiti okay. crew, right. and it was legit the same thing. Just yeah. madness, bro. Like, really? At the end of the day, Who are like, you coming exactly, to that exactly, yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. At the end, like for me, I was always an artist. Like, right. I loved graffiti yes. art, but at the end of the day, what we started it just turned into something that wasn't art. It, it, it uh, was left with the mentality that, that I had, and it was, we're going to be the best. You're not going to come into our city. And, if, it, and the thing that sucks is graffiti is supposed to be about your talent on the wall. Right. But there's that stigma, like, let's say you're better than me, but I'm big and buff. I suck at graffiti, but I'm across you. I'm a big old buff dude, and I can still drop you. Okay. Like, there's nothing you can do about it, you right. know? which isn't right. Yeah, yeah. But that's just how it goes down. The mentality dude. out there. That's the mentality, right, right. dude. So basically, all my homies, like all of us too, we all knew how to scrap too, because okay. we all trained, bro. Like right. MMA, like so. That's just how we were always like, yo, no one's gonna mess with us, or we're gonna box, and like something's things are gonna happen. So. And and the weird thing is, like, there was always a period, like, kicking it with the homies where things got violent. Mm -hmm. And it was always a time of the year, like, it just got really bad. And things, like, escalated and escalated to where it, I, I was, like, looking on the outside, looking in, like, yo, this is nothing different than me living in Coachella Valley, right. you know? And um, 
it was around the time it was around like 2012 like mm-hmm. i said when i started taking music serious that's the same time where i had to step away from um graffiti and the, just the scene because okay. it was legit like the last party i ever went to because i don't really party and do anything it was the, the last party i went to um things got out of hand fools are getting drunk and um just um my homie cracked some dude and then at the end of the party there it was just me and like four homies against like 20 heads oh, all a yeah, bunch yeah. of drunk dudes and I got a knife pulled out on me. Right. My homie got a, you know, we we were in a bad spot, and I almost got stabbed that night. And the sucky thing was like, it was, um, I don't know what what year did Martin pass away? Was it that the next year or that same year? Wasn't it that same year? It was, yeah, twenty twelve. Yeah, twenty twelve. Like literally after that is when Martin Garza, you know, the dude that got stabbed in Northside. Right. That's okay. when that oh, happened. Yeah. Out here in Central. Yeah. yeah so yeah. imagine what I was thinking okay. like then. Like that could have been me. You yeah. know what I mean? Like. So after that, it was like a paradigm shoot. Like, was oh, that, I got it. Did that have to do with like graffiti and that also? Nah, no, it was so just different wrong place, style? wrong time. Okay. Wrong, wrong place, wrong time. Oh, yeah? And the tripped out thing is I know that, yeah, I know the dude that stabbed Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's a small community. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah But yeah. I mean, so at the end of that, like for me, looking back, I'm like, yo, I really need to get it right. Because it's not worth losing all this talent, mm-hmm. losing a life for something stupid and right. that's two lives being lost because yeah. one person is going to prison the other person is going to die you know right. what i mean like so after that and and the thing about um just my music and you'll hear me talk about god you'll hear me talk about you know just my my life views right and it, it's it's because that's what happened like after that i just had to like tell god yo god i don't know what i'm here on this earth for i don't know why like these things are happening but i need answers and i need them now you know and i need to know what i'm doing here and it was after that like um i went to this like youth convention thing my brother i wasn't like my parents we always went to church but like in that time of my life i did not like church i did not like the people that talked about it was just annoying to me because it's like how are you going to judge me in my lifestyle like i've been in church my whole life but like i'm gonna do me and i want to do me and i want to have fun you know what i mean but those things led up to me almost right. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and and I, that's not even, I didn't even talk about the drug part, the drug aspect of that whole time. Like, oh, it's, uh, uh, that's a whole something else. Yeah, that's a whole oh, other thing. And that, and, and I get into that in the other songs too. Really? Like, I yeah. talk about graffiti. What's I talk about, you talk about um, I don't know talks mm-hmm. about drugs, okay. cause and effect. Right. Also talks about drugs and just, I, I talk about every aspect of everything I'm talking about in bygones. Right. It's everything from everything. drugs. So bygones, so. which are you know, which we know. Yeah, bygones al- is an album that he dropped, right? Yes, it's and an it. album that I dropped, and it legit talks about everything I'm talking about right now. Yeah. And even on the cover, if you look at my album cover, you'll see like the story I'm telling you. You'll see it being played out in these little characters. Right? Like is that drug. blue cover? Is yeah, that kind yeah, of blue yeah, cover? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, with all little characters. Yeah. But um yeah so so basically I mean you know I I'm not even gonna get into the details of drugs right. like right Here now it is music but yeah 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 so like that's why like my music like after okay back to me going to that convention with my brother um yes. I just went and like it was there was like this little thing it was called like an altar call and they, they call everybody to the front they're like whoever wants to accept God um you just say this prayer I said the prayer and the thing that was tripped out is like. The minute I closed my eyes, I just, I was like, I seen like some tripped out vision of me mm-hmm. on a stage. And this was before I was taking rap serious. I would, I was not like taking it serious. I just seen me rapping on stage in front of like a people. When I tell people this, they, they, they have a bunch of different t- interpretations, but I, I just seen me on top of stage with a bunch of like African kids. And in my interpretation, it's like, I'm going to travel the world, but it, I, I'm going to do this, um, you know travel the world and and play my music and because the thing about my music it's not just music it's a message and what i'm trying to promote i see that is I hope that. you know and you don't have to live the way i live and you okay. have a purpose and there's a plan for your life and you're worth something you know right. what i mean like but the thing about another thing about my my album bygones is that that album specifically is made for my homies like no one oh. else but my homies oh, okay. and and if you get something out of it that's a plus you know what yeah. I mean? but for me like I'm, I'm making this music so my homies can see. You know, I got out of the mess. I'm doing well for myself. I'm, I'm pursuing my dreams, and you can do the same thing. You yeah. don't have to be stuck in the freaking, you know, hood like trap and freaking. Because I got homies that they're legit. That's how they make their money, and right. that's how they make lifestyle. their lifestyle. Like, yeah, yeah. That their families did it. That that's all they know. Right. You know what I mean? Been victimized by pushing dope into their veins instead of hope into their brains. To their brains. To their brains.
<laughs> I'm speeding in the hoop, drop, cool, talking, woo, t woo. Shoot, these fools be in the hot pursuit. Chasing after penny nickel dime bags, pickled mind time laps, need to relax. Same old toke, smoke, whip, bash, backpack stuff with some fat sacks. Omen, get it through your skull, man. Dope man, D boy, ain't no room for decoys. They deploy and exploit the dope to them ten or tens. Intervene with the business G. They go really make your kidneys scream. Try to make their enemies some dope fiends terrorize the whole team, leaving hope looking like a broken dream. Yup, seldom seen with a cream of the crop. Just a kettle pot, hotter than a pookie with rocks. Round you with snooky type thoughts, teaching you how to pop the top off, let their chromosomes rot. Holding a Glock, holding down blocks to give your body a shock. You really think you live that high life? But you really slaving to that high life? Catch you on a corner with a crack pipe. Blinded eyes, broken saw, saw cries all night. I've been searching for the light, all night. I've been searching for the light, all night. I've been searching for the light, all night. Blinded eyes, broken saw, saw cries all night. You really think you live that high life? But you really slaving to that high life? Catch you on a corner with a crack pipe. Blinded eyes, broken saw, saw cries all night. I've been searching for the light, all night. I've been searching for the light, all night. I've been searching for the light, all night. Blinded eyes, broken saw, saw cries all night. thing about me and the difference about me and and the foolishness about because see my parents when they hear my music right. it's like a disgrace almost it's oh, okay. like you know what i mean yes. it's like i raised you right, right you know what i mean you didn't do that but the thing was the difference is i did it out of my own you know what i mean right. i did it because i wanted to do it not because my parents raised me mm -hmm. like i knew what i was doing was wrong but i did it anyways you know what i mean but but not using it as a tool. But I'm using it as a tool, yeah. exactly. Now, you yeah. know what I mean? I'm understanding, you know what I mean, the reality of what right. this lifestyle can bring, you know? Okay. And it's been in my family. You know, I'm, my grandpa was a junkie, you know yes. what I mean? Like, my pops, he got into the same thing. My uncle, the one that I'm talking to you about, he was, he got into, he went to jail several times, mm -hmm. you know? he's He had to have to do the same thing. And he doesn't, he's not involved with any of that anymore. Like, okay. It was it, it was just a big change in like my whole life and my family's and as what well. you what you've been through you want to use it as a message exactly right. and what I've been through basically it's like I'm human you're human we all fall we right. all we're all jacked up right but we can get up dust ourselves off and keep going forward and, and pursue our dreams no matter what, what path mean? we live no matter what you know what I mean because a lot of people they don't hear that every day you don't hear like you can make it you right. can you have a purpose for your life you're you're loved you're not nobody you know what i mean mm -hmm. you can be whatever and whoever you want to be you right. know what i mean and that's what i'm pushing like 
I can be, you can be whoever and whatever. And that's why, like, even, like, with this last event that I did, it's, I wanted to showcase local, you know, talent and local, like, businesses and brands that are pursuing, you know what I mean? Because that's what I'm about, Mm -hmm. too. Like, and I believe it wholeheartedly that, you know, I'm going to be up there, you know what I mean? Believe in yourself. I believe, but that's how you have to start, bro. You're not, you know what I mean? You have to be humbled and you have to be your own fan before you have exactly. uh, you know what i mean and that, i'm and that's what i'm learning also too like even with making music like i didn't i don't make music to have all this like i told you right. i make my music to show people that you have a purpose and you can yeah i don't make music for money i don't do it for any of that you know what i mean like i know that i'm pursuing this that's going to be something along the side you know eventually you right. know i'm gonna be professional that's, that's just how purpose. it works but that's, that's not my purpose yeah. you know what i mean and like <clears throat> I mean, yeah, like, that's the purpose, the whole, like, foundation of, like, what I make music for and, like, what I do, you know, is is to show the listener, yo, like, I'm human. I'm the same, you know, skin, flesh as you. Right. I make mistakes. I have my falls, but I'm still going to get up, you know what I mean? And I'm still going to, like, pursue Each my... Each song relates to what you've been through. <clears throat> exactly. Every song. Yeah. Every single song leads into that. You, you know, and, and the dope thing... See, the thing was, I was going to make physical copies and give them away, right. but, dude, there's literally just too much songs. There's, okay. I couldn't fit 20 tracks onto that CD. Like, I'd have to do, like, two different CDs, and I'm not about to hand out two different CDs. Right. You know what I mean? But... The art of war both yeah, times. yeah yeah but the the 20 tracks is like the first nine I, I believe it's the first nine and then there's an interlude that's the fir- that's all up until the testimony where i had that paradigm shift and mm. after i had that paradigm shift in my mindset you'll hear it in the songs i talk about drugs and everything differently okay i i talk about it in like a a conscious way right you know as as from like if you listen to um midnight lurkers it's like I'm I'm out there doing paint and I'm I'm um um what's the word I am learning the lesson there as far as like if you hear um the the block it's like from the outside looking in like you'll hear the lyrics the way I talk is like I I'm, I'm conscious of it and like I don't know that's another good example the song talks about like me not knowing like what basically the song i don't know is me not understanding the purpose and meaning of my life like right. i don't know yeah you can hear the message in yeah the lyrics. yeah it's I like mean, it's and it's song. it's super ignorant like the way i'm talking but it's no no you know it's like yeah. i was rolling them blunts i was smoking you know i really don't know i don't know what my life what i'm doing like right and that's you know but it's all like the after after um the first half of it it's the paradigm shift and then it's you know me understanding and and now you know all the stuff i'm gonna be releasing to now is just from my perspective now because okay. i had i had to throw that you know old yeah, perspective yeah. in there to so what you, you were doing exactly yeah, okay. so you can get to know yeah. me you well, know you what i mean it dark was it dark oh definitely yeah, bro. Just, yeah it's De- dark very feel, very right? dark okay De- very dark i you hear know? that and i still have there's still dark days and i'm there's still going to be music release where you're going to hear that right because you know? they're, they're you're you from the beats to the lyrics I'm exactly pretty dark yeah you know i mean and that's what i want like and even my tone of voice like you got to get creative. You're angry, were you angry at the time? Yeah. There's a, there's, okay. You're going to hear anger. You're going to hear, you know, hurt. You're going to hear just my voice cracking. You're going to hear all my emotions yes. in my songs. And that's what I try to portray, too, also, okay. you know, in my music, like, with the tones and my melodies. I'm not just going to rap the same. If it's a song where, you know, I'm hurting in the song or it's dark, I'm going to rap like that. Right. If it's a song, you know, where it's like, I don't know, I'm talking about a girl or something. I'm, it's, You know, I'm going to mellow it down, like that's all aspect of like understanding music though right. that's musicality and yeah, understanding even, dynamics yeah because you're living life exactly yeah. Yeah. I mean you're not, you're not just going through this you also have a girlfriend you're exactly. also you know yeah, yeah, yeah. messing with parents you yeah. know what I mean like you know, living that lifestyle yeah. just keep writing right exactly you write a lot man yeah I do yeah. Uh, like literally like and the funny thing is, like, my work ethic in writing music is so quick, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to be braggadocious or anything, but it's just so natural okay. to for music to flow out of me. You know what I mean? Like, like poems, and stuff exactly. Like, that, yeah. like, majority of the songs, like, that on this album, I I made in like a day. You okay. know what I mean? It's yeah. just the like i legit had like 30 tracks right but i was just placing the right songs on this album what's gonna make sense you know but like for me like my work ethic and music i just i just knock it's just natural it just flows out of me you know what i mean making beats it's just what i do for fun fun? it's fun bro i love it like that's what i want to be doing for the rest of my life like that's what i want to put my attention to right now like Cause it's, I mean, it's, it gets hard too to like be a student and right. actually have a job yeah, and do all these things and still <laughs> want to pursue music. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's like, how do you do that? You know? And I eventually still be surrounded, do it, you know, but then it gets hard lifestyle too. The night, 
like you exactly. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clubs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. And that too, too. You know what I mean? And I, I like you know talking about that too, because like for me as a person too, like there's struggles that I go through as well. Like I do want to go to clubs. I do want to smoke. I do want to drink. But at the end of the day, it's like what's going to be best for you? Right. Yeah. I, you have to know yourself <laughs> yeah, though. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And knowing yourself, like the thing about knowing Agreed, yourself, man. you know what I mean? The yeah. thing about knowing yourself too is like you can't be biased and you can't talk about anyone else. Like I can't tell you you can't go to the club right. because you I don't know you. I'm just, what I believe in. Or exactly. Whatever no, no, no. That's yeah. And that's number one why I'm not – I don't judge. I don't do any of that. Right. I'm just going to tell you what I know from my perspective, but a lot of times it doesn't work for everybody. You know what I mean? I'm just going to tell you yeah. wh- why this – why these things work out for me yeah and that's all i can say you know what i mean yeah like, like if there's a show on a friday night i'm not gonna go out because i got something to do the next day exactly yeah and like, i can't go out you know i can't fucking exactly. work hungover exactly you know like, I mean? it's basically, me. yeah yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and a lot of stuff too i talk about i mean like it's it's a part of being a man right like it's a part of being a man and understanding responsibilities yeah, exactly. too. you know what i mean okay. like and and for me like I'm not the 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 beautiful thing is to see like you guys and people um accept me for what I believe and like what I talk about and want to hear me. You know what I mean? Right, that's right. that's oh, what's yeah. dope for me. Like yeah. I, I get excited that you guys still want to you know mess with me oh, and yeah. mess with me. Listen to the music exactly because you know I mean? the music. And we're the message too. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, we're the and we see yeah. I see what you're about too. Though, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I see and that positivity. You know exactly. What I mean? yeah. Exactly. And it's dope too because like. Uh, at the end of the day, you have to have that balance. Right. You know what I mean? You you can have some ignorant rap. Like, I'm not calling anybody ignorant, but, right. like, you know, like, your Chief Keefs, your freaking yes. whatever. But then you have to balance that out with your Kendricks and your conscious rappers. You know what right. I mean? J. Cole's and... Commons. So and so, Commons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever. But, like, it's, it's beautiful to see that, though. You know what I mean? Because a lot of... Especially nowadays, everybody... Kendrick and J. Cole are holding it down for sure, and right. Mick Jenkins. There's a lot of uh, Chance the Rapper, you know what I mean? Right. And we need those guys because kids need to hear something else other than like garbage getting stuffed in their yeah, ear every man. single day, yeah. like do drugs, coke, and Molly, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? Go back to the ninth wonder day. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah. like the true, real hip hop. And that's right. what I, I stand for. See, because. When you think about hip hop, a lot of kids don't even understand what hip hop was, and un- they don't even understand the four elements and why we have these things. Like, what is hip hop? Mm-hmm. And the, the the thing about hip hop was back in the day, you know what I mean? In the seventies, uh, when Africa Bombada left to Africa and came back, and if you don't know who Africa Bombada or what I'm talking about, do your research, and right. I I strongly suggest you do research because right. it's beautiful to understand w- why you like something, you know, not just liking it. Like, do your research on it. But hip hop, hip hop, was to allow the kids that were on drugs, hooked on drugs, um, in gangs, to come and do something positive right. and do something to where, you know, it's a positive, it's a, it's a, um, positive um, outlet. a positive outlet. Kids. Exactly. Yeah. Like that's what hip hop was for. Right. Cause, cause African Bombada was a head honcho in a, in a gang in LA right. and he went to Africa. He won this trip to Africa. He went to Africa and he underst- He got to see the real gangs, the right. real tribal warfare, you yeah. know, the real killing and the real bloodshed. And he came back with another mindset. You know what I mean? And this is, it's almost the same thing as me. Like okay. I, I got to experience the real outside looking in, you know what I mean? Like, wow, this is what it really is. And that's what like hit when he came back to the States, to New York, he was like, this is what I want to do. I want to establish Zulu nation. You know, we got to start, you know, from, from DJing, dancing, you know, doing dances to get kids out of the streets and into something where they can better themselves. And now we're freaking uh, however many years later and hip hop is still thriving and yeah. uh, amazing. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the same thing for me. Like, But I'll, it's changed I'm, also. Of course, you know it's changed. I mean? yeah. It has its changes. Yeah. And, and that's good. That's right. a beautiful thing too. Like hip hop. But like has, I say, you're bringing it back, you know, to that different message. I'm, I'm, I mean? yeah, I'm yeah. just bringing it, the foundation back. Mm-hmm. Like I, that's what I'm laying my foundation as. And we needed and that gonna, out here. Yeah. We needed that. Exactly. I mean, my opinion, I think, you know, I'm yeah. not a cat, but like we needed that out here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you yeah. need people to hear like, you need there see a lot of times and it's hard dude because we're a small valley and we don't know what opportunity looks like right you know what i mean the only ones that see opportunity is like the athletes that you know get freaking scholarships or i don't know if you you really got to go to college or get like you know a degree in something you don't ever see like like a bigger city la where you can you know just meet somebody and turn famous like there's no one ever telling the kids like you can be whoever you want to be you can have you have a purpose you have a plan for your life and you don't have to just be a freaking burger flipper you right. know what i mean you you t- there's purpose for you you know and it's hard to see that like 
that's why I rap to my homies, you know, because a lot of times they don't see that right. because of their circumstances. Yeah. And it's hard to see that around here. It's, like, it's hard to get the support, man. Yeah, and know, the support always, as yeah, well, yeah. too. Like, mm-hmm. families, you yeah. know, we're, we're broke out here. What it's are you hard. doing? Like, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got to... You have to get a job and be, you know, live a basic life. Right, yeah. You know what exactly. I mean? To, to, nine to five. Nine to five. Or whatever. Exactly. Like, yeah, to yeah. support. Yeah, You yeah. know, you can't. Uh, yeah. Seeking your dreams is not something logical over here. Yeah, and it in sucks. Yeah. In the valley. And it sucks that it has to be like that. But Grow up. You, you exactly. want to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. But, I mean, you can. Yeah, you, of I, course. I, of course, there's going to be a struggle yeah. to getting to where you need to be. Like, for me, it's a struggle, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not even working a nine to five. I'm working like a seasonal yeah. band's job, like that barely gets me any money. You know what I mean? Right. And I'm like having people look. Like I don't even have my own car yet. I don't have like certain things. You know that all these people have. Like they're working regular jobs, yeah. but they have you know their necessities. But for me, it's it's bigger than that. Oh, that shit doesn't it's, matter. Though. Exactly. You know what I mean? It doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Like unless yeah. unless you know like you know older cats like older older people like you know, yeah. that would matter. Mm-hmm. But like for us like. You know, we have a different mentality. We have, like, a dream. You know what exactly. I mean? It's not, it's not bad to have a dream. You know no, what it I isn't. mean? You know? Exactly. Yeah. And that's what, I mean, I want to push that message out, too. Right. And that's why I love seeing how this art community is right. growing. It like, is. It's, yeah. bu- it's a beautiful thing because right. you get to see, like, all these people are from where I'm from. And look at them. Like, they're actually, like, really good at what they do. Yeah. And they're going to make it. Like, you, you, it's hope. You know right. what I mean? And that's what I love to promote. Like, I love to see. Because it's back to my homies. Like, man, I... I love seeing my homies be successful and doing what they love. Like, if it's one thing about graffiti, that's one thing I loved about it. Seeing my homies out there, like, pursuing it. And there's still homies, like, that are killing it right now in the graffiti scene. I love that. I'm like, dude, at least you're doing something you really have a passion for. Right. Now, the thing is, learn how to use that to live off of that and not make it, like, a stigma to, you know, if you're an artist, you know, make t-shirts. Do something where, like, you know, you're going to make money and live off of that and get your name out there. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? You Like, at the end of the day, you do have, like I said, you have to be a man and have response. You do have responsibilities. Yeah, you know course. what I mean? You you have to take yeah. care of those, but you can still like what I'm doing. You can still pursue your dreams and right. have you know what I mean. Do what you love to do and right. get paid for it. You know. Yeah, you're, I mean you got to view yourself as a product. I mean you know exactly. what I mean. Like you know your yeah. own product. You got to exactly. push yourself. Yes. I don't know. No, how I say is no one else is gonna push yourself but yourself. Yep. You know what I mean. Unless yep. you got, unless you got your support. Yeah. You know what I mean. Unless you got and a girlfriend, sh- wife, or whatever. You exactly. Know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, but besides that, no one's gonna push you. you know what nope. I mean? Nope. And that's what me, man, dude. Like I wish people had that like faith in themselves where they can do that. Cause for me, right. I I have that. Yeah. And that's why it's so easy for me to do what I'm doing. Cause I believe in myself. I believe in yeah. my product and what I'm doing. And I wholeheartedly believe that I'm gonna make it. Okay. You know. But the the thing is, like, how many people do you know today that are rappers that you can say, are you gonna be the best rapper in the world? And they say they're gonna say yes wholeheartedly. It's hard to it's find hard. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and you can't or... the thing the thing exactly but for me i believe i'm going to be the best rapper okay i believe i'm and it's not i'm not trying to knock nobody i'm not trying to say like oh yeah but i'm gonna in the sense that i'm gonna be the best rapper that me as a person and who i am as a living yeah. being can be i'm gonna be the best me that in I the can sense be. that i'm gonna take howard stern out you know yeah like dude like but you you? you you gotta yeah. be like that though you yeah. have to like that's how we have to think like right. it's not knocking anybody it's i'm not right. saying oh you're not gonna take me off this pedestal not even right. you can be the same thing as you yeah. can be the best too mm-hmm. like there's only one Biggie, there's only one Tupac, but they right. were the best. Like, you know what I mean? They were the best at what they did. Yeah. Like, I, you can do that. You can say the same thing in sports. And, you know, the be- they, they were the best quarterback. They were the best lineman. You know, there's all these positions. Like, I want to be the best, you know, me that I can be. And that's okay. the same. It's it's not the best rapper right. in general, just rapper. No, it's the best Ace the Vic. I want to okay. be the best me. The best person the you best can be. The best person all I can right, be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's what I want to promote, too, because yeah. no one really believes in their self like that. Like, right. it's hard. And they should have have that right. that belief and faith in their self like you know what i mean that's why i love like kendrick lamar's message and like that um i love myself like right. that's such a good message that we need to hear today like you more know? kids or more people need to be like that in the valley exactly it's hard though in the valley dude. yeah yeah and it's but it's hard yeah. when you look at your circumstances and you look at <laughs> yeah. like well look at where i'm from you know what right. i mean but nah dude that's not yeah. that should that's not dictate yeah exactly that should not dictate how you lead your life like right. if anything that should be you know a bonus like a push you know like look where i'm yeah. from and it's I opportunity still any, everywhere you know exactly I mean? yeah. exactly and like you say, it goes back to you know your your message of being people bringing people together exactly you know bringing with people that, together it can grow yes. together yeah and that's what i'm trying to see 
this is what happened. Like last year, I moved to LA. Like right. I moved to LA, and and what I was trying to do was do what everybody else was trying to do: go mm-hmm. over there, get connections, network, and uh, you know, build my brand from there. But that's just not. See, I I came. What happened was. I got to see the dudes like I was on like Fairfax. I was like at all these like uh, streetwear brands like Supreme. I was at all these shops. I seen all these artists. I met all these people. And at the end of the day, like I went to all the colleges like um, LA Recording mm-hmm. School. I went to all these. I met a lot of people. But at the end of the day, I thought to myself, like, why can't I start that? And why can't I build that in the Valley? Like, w- what is, you know, and, and, and even too, the Valley has such a good support system. Like, right. If we utilize it, you know what I mean? Right. If we really utilize just recently, coming though, together. Right? Just recently. Just recently. Just recently. And the weird yeah. thing is, when I came back, it all, why, how is, that's not a coincidence. Yeah. The minute I came back, everything started, okay. boom. Like, what? This yeah. is not a coincidence. Like, right. why, are, how is this, how are we all coming together at yeah, this yeah. exact time? That's it's, right. It's weird, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It is weird. But it's, that's, this is the plan. Like, okay. I'm telling you too, like, right. the and everything I'm doing too, one thing that I can say is everything I do and everything I release and everything that I'm about has purpose. Right. Like, I'm not just going to be, you know, like from the, from the very details of my name, to to the song to the structure of my music it all has a meaning and purpose and like that's what i'm understanding though coming back to the valley like i was in la coming back to the valley i i I thought to myself like why can't we come together why does it always have to be competition right oh you're from el central you're from calexico you're from like bro we're nobody like we're a small valley like we need to come together and build something you know what i mean and put our name on the map and come Mm. together and that's the way you that's the way you do it. Right, right. If you look at a franchise, look at how in and out whoever start, whatever thing you want to think about, like streetwear brand, they started in their hometown right. and it's they build it off as yeah, a yeah. team yeah. and they build it off. They built from that. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? And that's business too. Yeah. Like that's just reality. Like that's what right. you got to do. And the art scene is growing out here though. It like, is like, From the music to the art mm-hmm. to everything. Like you know what I mean? Even like, you know, it is. It it's is weird. It is growing. It's it's weird too yeah, though. Yeah, we always like, had it, but it's more like you said it's more together now it's it, it's yeah. community bro yeah, yeah. like it's really communal and that's something beautiful that i wanted to right. see i mean like, you're from brawley calipat you're Central right now yeah, exactly. you know what i mean yes yeah you know and it's Welcome. dope yeah yeah. You know? yeah and it's dope to see people reach out like before that's not how it was like right. it was super competitive like yeah. oh you're from there like <laughs> and i it, it, i guess in a sense it still is it still is of, no know, it still you know is I mean? yeah. it still is but it's coming together yeah. shortly, you know what I mean? But it is as far as art scene though, you know, yeah, yeah. you know what we're doing here. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It yeah, is yeah. it's really getting, you know, unity. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's 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 so beautiful to see, dude. Right. Like the first Friday events, like right. the I these these fests that you have here, like right. seeing all these locals just coming together and having a good time. It's that's something that I man, I can live for that. Like, we need, I guess, fuck, we need it. Like, it goes back to we need exactly. it. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, we need the skate park. We, we, needed, we us. needed the skate park. We needed, yep. we needed the shit. Yep. You know, we did. We did. So, so can it be? You know, like I said, exactly. You know, ideal lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, and and that's what like. See, for me, I do want to travel. I do want to get out of the valley. Right. Not just to leave, but not just to get out of the valley because I don't love where I'm from. But that's just. At a point in time, business wise, that's what I have to. I have to be making moves. Mm-hmm. But what I wanted to do is come back and make a foundation and leave something for the people and my homies in just this valley that I can leave and be like, okay, they're set. And what I left here, that little legacy, whatever it may be, may uh, my record label, um, uh, uh, art foundation, yeah. whatever it may be, I don't know. Yeah, my music, music. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just the image of someone from the valley right. making it big, like. I want to leave someone here rather than bounce off to LA right. and then start, you know, making it big out there, you know, because that's what a lot of people do. They 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 leave the valley and they go to school and they become like big whatever they're doing. We're trying to just make a bunch of noise here. Exactly. Like, make as much noise exactly. as you can. You know what exactly. I mean? And let the people hear you. Let the people hear yes. the music. You know yes. what I mean? Exactly. And then and then I take it somewhere. Yes. Right. Exactly. That's what you're getting to. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. that's like I said before. Like I like I said, I'm gonna be the best world, and I'm gonna be traveling worldwide. And this right. is I want this what i'm doing my message to be worldwide but it all starts if if you can't have your city you know right 
cheering for you yeah. then you know how do you expect to have yeah. you know and that's what i want to start i want to be that local here and i'm going to be you know and then it's happening bro i've only been releasing stuff and i've only been doing shows since last year like from last year to now right just seeing the growth yeah. it's crazy yeah. man. like you know what i mean and i believe it i think most of us started like a year ago yeah Everybody, exactly like, you know and like yeah. look at it now yeah yeah you know what i mean like look yeah. at what we're doing now like the growth like right so i believe and you know what i mean and from that from this valley to coachella valley to yeah. the 909 to la to new york like that's how, how i'm gonna do it you know what i mean right. like well when I mean, you're from but, coachella like i, I fucking bring it up again i want to bring yeah some type of coachella over here yeah, yeah it's yeah, possible yeah, you know yeah. I mean? oh for sure dude. Like, you know the yeah events, for sure you know what I mean? yeah a bunch of bands oh, yeah. and stuff you know what i mean yes yeah. dude and and it's that's big a, though man yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, there was uh, we went to San Bernardino. Yeah. Um, it, when was it? Like probably like last month. It was last month, yo. My homegirl was like, yo, some guy was asking for Lace Lobick. Like, <laughs> Lace Lobick. I was like, who's Lace Lobick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. dang, Lace, yeah. Lace Lobick? That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be, you know, spinning message. Missing, yeah, I, you yeah. know, I, like I said, I, I hear your message. You know what yeah, yeah, I hear, yeah. I hear your positive. I hear yeah. your. You believe in yourself, you know what yes, I mean? Not exactly. even yourself. Like, I mean, your music speaks for itself. Exactly, too, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, I mean, you know, and that's one thing, like, I can't stray away from God, right. you know, and, and what he's done in my life. And and like I said, my pops, you know, if I, I wouldn't be doing my music without my pops. Same thing with God. Like, I, I wouldn't be living right. if, if God didn't, like, speak to me and tell me, yo, this is what you need to be doing, you know what I mean? And that's, I'm not, like, and the thing about my music, I'm not trying to push my agenda onto anybody. I'm not trying to push my religion so to speak on anybody mm -hmm. this is just me right and, and why can't we be like a society today to accept everyone you can accept transgender you can accept right. gay people i'm not knocking anybody i have gay homies so yeah, yeah. you know i'm not necking it but why can't you accept everybody from wherever they're from you know right. why can't you listen to them why do you have to why do they have to have that stigma oh they're gonna judge me like nah get to know me first yeah. get to know what i'm talking about right. i'm just like you i struggle too there's nothing different between me and you it's just me i acknowledge that i'm messed up and i acknowledge that i'm not right you know but but i do acknowledge that god has a plan for me and he has a there's a plan for you as well you right. know what i mean and yeah. that's the difference between me like that's just me but yeah. i never want to have my listeners feel like i'm pushing I'm, i want you to think the same way i do because you're not going to think no. the same way you have your own life to live but you need to see these options for you like you have a purpose and a plan and i found it from god if you can find it from God, good. If well, I don't know how, you know, you're going to find your purpose and plan. But for me, that's how I found right. my purpose and plan. Yeah. You know Look what at, I mean? Take a listen to, my, to your message. You know exactly. What I mean? yeah. 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 Maybe no, you can learn from me. You exactly. Know what I mean? Take, take yeah. whatever you can from right. me, you know. And I know that seed is just, that's what you're going to have. You're going to hold on to. And it's, it's going to grow. Yeah. That seed that I'm, I'm releasing is going to grow. And at the same you time, you got it. good beats to go with. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah. And at the same time, you can appreciate my music in right. general. Like, I, I'm not saying I'm the best, but you can hear the work hard work and effort i put into my music and it's not crap you know mm -hmm. what i mean like i really i'm just i, I put you know time and effort right. and you know ta my talent and my heart into right. my music and you're gonna hear that you know what which i mean is good yeah, yeah which is good like yeah. and i feel like majority of the people they're not really onto my message but they just think i'm a good artist which okay. is cool too right which is cool too i, I <laughs> if it, you know what i mean dope like yeah. i'm not i'm it's not just support just, exactly yeah, yeah. support you know right. what i mean and which is super dope to see nice. like that you acknowledge you know me in any sort of sort of way like right. if you if you like my message if you just like my music whatever it's for me it's all new to me it's right. all new i never had support i don't right. I never had fans you know right. what i mean like i went to a small dude my graduating class was like 70 kids okay so like going to my school you were not we had no popular people yeah, yeah we were just like there yeah. you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you had no like i was never like, the popular guy right like, it was just legit like a family like okay. we are who we are like there's no you know what i mean yeah. you don't you so for me like all this is new like having okay. fans people that legit support me and will come out to the shows and like right. talk to me we say a uh, bygones is like an introduction to yourself and, and bygones is an yeah. introduction that's what it right. is so, you but know, listen, it's, it's, listen to bygones so you can get to know yeah more listen to yeah. if you guys want to get to know more about me that's listen to my album bygones SoundCloud. go soundcloud.com yeah. slash ace the big my whole album's free unfortunately i don't have a physical copy because if you're listening to this there's too much track so i couldn't freaking throw 20, 10 track 20 tracks on two different cds but i mean everyone uses the computer nowadays it's yeah. not hard to download Down that's how i freaking yeah. get my music i don't okay. you know listen to cds you know yeah but download my music if you like it you know and if you're tuning in now 
thanks for listening this far dude yeah um, like yeah. <laughs> listen to my new single too what's and that uh, what's coming out with your new single so oh, you're having any new singles coming i out? got my new sing- i mean my latest single of vice of virtue right. but i also have there's three two singles that i'm gonna be re- releasing from now until december okay. and i can't say too much details on them because i'm still building on it and there's still concepts that i'm adding on to them but i right. will say i will be releasing a lot of new visuals uh, music videos yeah documentary, documentary you're doc- that documentary okay. um i will be releasing um uh, merch actual merchandise that you guys can have nice. and hold on to um another zine and the thing about my zine i, I released a zine if oh, you yeah. don't know what a zine is you know it's just my personal magazine or what i like to see and i published it all by myself nice. so it, and it's five bucks i know that five dollars is a lot but at the time i was broke i didn't have a job so right. that was my money okay like, i'm not gonna be out here selling drugs like i'm gonna be out here making money off of my talents you yeah know what i mean that's why no, no. that's what i'm trying to do right. you know what i mean that's why I ha- that's why it was a lot of money be- it was five I don't, I don't know it's not a lot of money though it's five not, bucks you know to donate money, to yeah. me like for a booklet you know? and basically the booklet like what i wanted to do with west side story is basically give uh um, the people like a look into my life and and a look into the West Coast culture. Did you made like limited copies or is the, yeah, I only oh, ha- right. there was only there was only like there. I'll cook you up. Limited edition. Yeah, I'll definitely yeah? cook you up. With it. Yeah, right, for right. sure. But um, not really. I'll cop another one next time. For you know sure. I mean? but I'll yeah, look for out sure. For those. Yeah. yeah, look out if you guys you know if you're into art. Um, even do research on zines. They're super cool. Yeah, man. Just little magazines that artists make that just visuals. That's all there really are. You can yeah. put you can put poems. You can put I I can put I put a couple lyrics in my my zine, but yeah, if you guys are looking out for, you know, merch from me, um, right now you can order that uh, bigcartel.com slash Ace the Big. Okay. They're still up for sale. But, um, yeah, um, be on the lookout for merchandise from me. And also what I wanted to touch up on, too, is yeah. this label that I'm starting without Wax. It's a collective. Me, him, you know, and there's a couple other members. And it basically... Without Wax? Without Wax. Mm. And, and the meaning, bro, it's like that's I said, nice dude, there's a, there's a face, purpose like, for everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Without Wax, basically... Um, did you want to talk about it? Okay, without Wax, basically means like so back in the day um when sculptors would make um you know their their masterpieces let's say they had cracks or right. mistakes they would fill that in with wax you know what i mean okay and without wax it there can be several meanings for it you know but the meaning that i love and and there's two different meanings that i love it, it can also mean you're accepting your flaws you're accepting right. who you are but you're living without the wax you're living without those things that you try to fill it with okay. or it can mean you're living a life um understanding your identity understanding who you are and and basically living a life full right f- full and complete without wax being real being nice. true to who you are staying true and it does sound corny maybe f- to yeah. you whoever but from me and from where i'm from it's really hard to be who i am and 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 represent where i'm from because we're from the valley you know what i mean yeah. i know a lot of people it's like oh you're from the valley you don't want to re-. it's like ghetto da, 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 whatever but for me it's a beautiful thing you know what i mean because i'm accepting yeah. where i'm from and i'm accepting you know my culture and everything that's why like if you see my my freaking instagram like i'm all dressed up like a troll one thing i wanted to push out too though is like my culture and the way i dress and the way i um just just um uh, how how would I say the way persona my persona and everything I'm trying to release is where I'm from okay because everyone dresses the same all these rappers dress the same you don't really get to know where they're from and why they dress like that I'm a Chicano you know I'm Filipino and Italian but this is where I'm from and tell me dude there's no Chicano rappers that are really doing it right now no. and that are really you know getting into their culture and where they're from you know what I mean right. like so I can say this my my material that I will be pushing out. Early, uh, later in the future will be embracing who I am and where I'm from you know what okay. I mean and pushing that out there so right. people can see because nice. we live in a world the things we may see on the daily day day to day may people may not know what the heck is going on you know right but it's normal to us yeah, you yeah. know what I mean so I want to definitely like emphasize that I mean yeah I mean? I mean you go to Calipat you see all these tags on the wall you exactly. see like pa- the east side of the railroad tracks exactly you know, yeah. you know it just, markets closed down yeah, you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah. Shouts yeah, yeah. out to the east side, dude. Yeah, east yeah, side man. Shouts out to the west side too, man. Yeah. All love. That's where I'm from, dude. But and and when I talk about like west side, you'll hear it in my music too. West mm-hmm. side. I'm t- I'm I'm not talking about the side. I'm talking about the culture, West Coast. Okay. You know what I mean? The because that's what you know. I we grew up around. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Ch- Hispanic Chicano culture. You know what I mean? Like it, it may be 
like f- familiar to us but to other people they don't know nah, you man. know even like slang words like homie feed man whatever whatever i try to like emphasize that like i i do talk like that in general if you maybe get like in me, east la like LA yeah, yeah, yeah east yeah, la yeah, but course, like but yeah. over here or if you're in coachella valley and over here that's just the regular that's the yeah, norm to us is, you know man. what i mean it, and yeah. it's weird to people it's like, family oh, right like that that's family yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's family yeah. theos you're yeah. freaking you know like that too we all have family we grow up around that you know what i mean and it's weird to other people that but it's normal to us right. so i want to emphasize that too like because okay. i want to take you on a journey to wh- who i am where i am where i live you know what nice. i mean that's what becoming you know that's what i love about kendrick and dr Dre, the people from compton you know yeah. what I mean? they really represented where they're from now they have a music uh movie about them you know what i mean but yeah and it's uh okay. bygone is a concept album it's a right? concept album yeah, okay. yes and they keep releasing work like that yeah and that's how that's i, I feel be. like that's how all my work is going to be okay. like i can't i will i i can say i will release some singles that right. are just you know what i mean it's like, yeah, probably to have fun with it too i mean the show's yeah, here like exactly. you were just like you know the yeah, ciphers yeah, of f- course couple ciphers you were just like you know yeah just yeah have fun with it too you have know? to have fun yeah, with yeah. it too like i'm gonna be releasing some crazy hip-hop hip-hop yeah. music along with some some music that's real conscious and what i'm talking about is really deep right but you have to have fun it's like life yeah you got your ups and downs you got your serious moments there's a time and place for everything you know what i mean right. there's a time and place to be you know funny there's a time and place to be serious there's a time and place to be sad and yeah you know there's a time and place for everything and I, that's the beautiful thing about music you can express everything mm-hmm. you can express you can be ignorant sometimes right. sometimes i am ignorant yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. i am stupid yeah. sometimes i make really bad choices right. but i'm gonna talk about all that yeah. i'm not just gonna leave about the leave all the good okay you know what i mean it's i'm not about I'm, everything exactly yeah, that's what ace Every, the big is, that's what ace okay. the is the, you know bringing everything together right and courageously bringing all that together nice. you know like i said m- my name can change you know what i mean what with the purpose and meaning it can mean something different to you too you know ace the can mean whatever you know but that's what you know that's me that's ace oh, yeah, ace yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So we out here yeah. though man i hate music podcast oh, yeah. so you got instagram too what you wanna, what's i got instagram, Insta- right, my instagram is ace the vig um follow me on twitter ace the vig uh, fa- uh facebook like my page ace the vig you know all my tags are the same yeah, ace the vig check me out you know if you like what you guys are hearing if you're interested in my message you're interested in my background you know follow me let's become homies support, if you're from the man. valleys yeah, come support yeah. come come out to the shows yeah, let's, you got any shows let's coming chop up? it up um, I do have there's a there's a quite a few shows. Right. I don't want to get into too much Certain details, dates. yeah, yeah okay. uh, because of the dates and yeah. and we're still working on some okay. shows. But I will say this: um, my next show, um, I'm get, it's going to be here in El Centro, and yeah. it's going to be a big one, bro. Okay, nice. It's going to be really big, and it's going to be really fun. And um, you, I'll definitely get you all the links and right, give right. you all the flyers and stuff. But um, just look out for me. You know, add me on. You know whatever social network yeah but i will be posting about these things really soon and it's gonna be yeah i'll be definitely be promoting them but it's gonna be really cool and like i was talking about before it's all gonna be communal it's all gonna be um just collaborative i'm gonna be working with a lot of different um local brands artists and foundations from the valley and um it's gonna be super fun dude it's gonna be super super fun yeah yeah. yeah. look out for ace the big you know i want to bring him here because he's you know making some noise right now definitely playing shows here he's you know his hip-hop artist from calipat bro all the area, Calipas, you know, Calipas, one, of the, Calipas one, of the, one of the first out here, <laughs> first on the podcast. Yeah, so. I want to get sure. you out here, man. Just chat it up a little for bit, you sure, know I mean? man. You know, and you I'm, I'm super grateful yeah, yeah. for you having me out here, even just this small, you know, setup. It's dope, but yeah, it's man. dope to see us coming together, like seeing this being done because it's going to be beautiful. Like a couple years looking right. back on this, like, man, remember that one time? Yeah, yeah. Oh my, oh my, it's bad, dude. We yeah. just, it's, it's beautiful, though, Hell but yeah, man. Thank you That's why, man. It's showcase the people the music. You know, you can find him on soundcloud.com slash ace the big, right? Check me out man yeah Check me and out. some of the songs you heard was midnight lurkers and then you also heard uh cause and effect and we're about to get into a testimony the testimonial right? yeah. yeah what do you want to say about that song man? so i mean basically that song in my album basically wraps up um the first whole part of right. it, it talks about you know me being lost me you know uh seeing the things being around the things i was around the violence the um drugs and just being around everything you know and getting to a point in my life where I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't do anything besides call on God and be like, God, I need help. I need you to direct me, because if not, I'm gonna die. And basically, that's what the song talks about. And it, it talks. Uh, if your streets could talk, if it, it says the the hook is, um, if my streets could talk, I wonder what they would say. I wonder what my hood would say. Right. You know, if my streets could talk, and then I'd say, if your streets could talk as well, because we all have our own story, our life story. You know what I mean? Okay. And basically, it's 
make the best of your story. If your streets could talk, if they can say what you're doing, what is, you know, what what are your streets going to say? Right. You know what I mean? And my streets, you know, I I let a lot of teen, uh, and that's another reason why I made the album. I let a lot of people, I led them in a direction where it's really hard to take them off of now. Like, I blazed kids out for the first time. I introduced them into oh, things shit. that they weren't yeah. supposed to be introduced to at right. that age. You right. know what I mean? And for me, you know, now in the mindset, you know, understanding and being conscious of what I did, that's what I want this album. I want them to hear like, okay, yes, you know, I messed up. We we mess up sometimes, but we can still, there's still hope. There's still a purpose, you know what I mean? And that's what that song specifically talks about, you know what I mean? And if you guys haven't heard it, check it out. Um, that's honestly one of my favorite songs to uh, perform live right. just because it's real intimate and it's it gets it touches real deep in my heart because it's just like bringing me back to that moment where I'm like, dude, I remember when I had I had no direction, I had no purpose and I I don't I didn't know what I was doing with my life. I didn't know what I was going to do. And even at that point in my life, I, it was like my senior year of high school. I was doing really bad. I wasn't going to graduate. Right. I was um just in a point where I didn't have no direction and no hope, you know what I yeah. mean, until you know, that paradigm shift where, like, God, show me you're real. All these people talk about you. I used to go to church. I never experienced you. This is the time you got to show me. And boom, he showed me. And now I'm doing music because of that. You know okay. what I mean? Nice. Now I'm pushing you yeah. know, to freaking and sh- do th- to give the same thing I received to other people. Like, yeah. you know, it's just like, that's that's what it is. Yeah, you know this is a little mean? introduction of Ace yeah, of Big. I mean, you know, I'm yeah. fucking, I'm like listening. You know what I mean? And like, I, wanted <laughs> yeah. to, I wanted to get to know Ace of Big. You know, yeah, I'm interested in the backstory with you. Sure. Which sure. you know what you're, what you're talking about. Exactly. You know, excited listening to the music. And I want people to know that too. Yeah. Like, I want you to really question. See, my thing is like, I want you to question what what I'm talking about, who I'm about. You know, yeah. that's a good thing that I because it leaves me accountable. You know, to to give you that message, it, it, it allows me to to um, just really be true to who I am. You know, because if you're questioning who I am and you're questioning all these things. And it, and I don't come through with that and sh- show you what I'm really about, you know. It leaves you like, oh, well, why, what is he really talking about? Mm-hmm. And then it also leaves you hungry to get to yeah. know more of me. Right. You know what I mean? It, it leaves you like, oh, so if you're about this, well, what, uh, what, you know, it leaves you, you know, guessing, you know. Right. And that's what I want to do. I okay. want you to get, I'm not going to just throw all my stuff out there. You Get to know me. That's right. why I made this album. Right. If you really want to know my music, get to know who I am, you know yes. what I mean? Give him a holler, you know what I mean? Shout out to Ace Big, you know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) He'll be out there, you know, he he can give his plugs out there. For sure, dude. Yeah, hit me up, Ace the Big, you know, um, Instagram, Twitter, all the all those social hey, networks whatever hey, thank you man thanks and for stopping thanks, by man. thanks for having me dude yeah. for sure we'll see and you out in the shows man for sure man yeah, yeah it's the last time you know for sure I mean? and uh, it's gonna be you know i have a lot of there's a lot of shows coming up and there's a lot of um new events that you guys can either hear me perform or just get to know me you know yeah. what i mean just get to know who i am um i'm from what i know i'm a nice guy <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm a cool dude yo yeah. like get to know me man i want to get to know you i yeah. want to know what you think about my music i want to know um how you react what's your favorite song on my album what right. you know like what how, how have my songs spoke to you how have they helped you at all you know that that's what i want to know from you know my listeners and whoever's um tuning in right now yeah if they can take it in take it in if they don't if fuck they em. don't if they don't <laughs> <laughs> if not if you guys don't <laughs> if not hey it's all good that's There's my a lot. message right there Omar. <laughs> that's omar's message uh for, for me yo if you don't like music it's fine dude. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of other artists you don't have to listen to me but if you do like my music you know let me know what you want to hear let me know wh- why you're interested in my music right. i'd love to get to know you you know as as much as you want to still get gonna to keep creating no matter what no you know matter what, I mean? what that's my yeah. heart bro like yeah I, that's something natural it's just like breathing like i'm mm-hmm. always gonna there's music and this stuff's always gonna flow out of me right. so you're i'm definitely not going anywhere <laughs> hey this is the last time man stop yeah. by whenever you want Dude, sure. you're promoting anything man definitely Ace. see you Ace. later man late peace I wonder what they would say I 
I wonder what the hood would say I wonder if her life would be saved If my streets could talk I wonder what they would say I wonder what the hood would say I wonder if her life would be saved Cops, sirens, guns firing Mama's crying, the sun shot Bloody pavement, heart stop Gang violence, tear drops Cars passing, music bumping Parents barking, dogs barking Fist fights and spoken language Sweet mumbles, graffiti spraying I wonder what they would say I wonder what your hood would say I wonder if our life would be safe If your streets could talk Yeah I wonder what they would say I wonder what your hood would say I wonder if our life would be safe If your streets could talk You could drop the volume on this Yo, this last one I'ma do it's basically a testimony song that wraps up everything I went through and um, it's called The Testimonial, you know, and this is the last song for tonight, I may have the vigorous. Check it, it goes like this. They said start them off young, put the tech nine in their hand. You didn't grow up in the hood, you never understand. I grew up in the valley of the shadow of death With kids throwing up a hood or they set was the only trend Marked by the system as a failure Parents had to work nine fives to throw a bag of beans up in the cupboard We had to make do with what we had Thankful for everything from the shoes to the shirt up on my back Yeah, it was hard on the streets, man I Had to be hard to get beat But never did I ever show the signs that I was weak but really on the inside, my insides are crumbling You see, graffiti was my one love But the world always finds a way to corrupt It was the false image that you had to be tough So violence was the message that I preached up Disciple these young kids in the wrong ways Being broke to us seemed like an everyday In the same shoes, thinking like dang homes When we go get paid, so slinging that Mary Jane Was the stupid choice that we made Living in the darkness, trying to find light But I dug that hole so deep that light was out of sight I was tired of the fight, my life would have been sacrificed Sacrificed by the end of my enemy's blade But one day, I decided I was done I looked up to the sky, and I seen the only one Looking after me, every time the day was done The reason why I still had breath up in these lungs And I said, God, forgive me for this wickedness That I've committed all this sinning It's pressure up on my spirit, and he did it The spiritual weight was lifted, the demons had been evicted It's evident that I'm different Yo, buddy, tell me there's one thing that I ask of you Tell your homies what I've done and tell them that it's true Cause the only one they'll really listen to is you I said the only one they'll really listen to is you If your streets could talk I wonder what they would say I wonder what your hood would say I wonder if her life would be safe If your streets could talk Yeah I wonder what they would say I wonder what your hood would say I wonder if her life would be safe If your streets could talk There's nothing like it It's so amazing We both love it so why not let me have a taste? Please, Daddy. Oh. It drives me wild. In this love and I think my mind's hella trippin' You're my medicine, I feel super numb for sure I've been seeking for attention for a minute Let me hold you down now, baby, can you show me some more? I'm by my lonesome, need to hold 
course I'm not stand for you, oh my goodness You been super, super on my mind, of course Now yes, it's mental, super sentimental Can you speak it gentle to me? Love me, lady, open up your doors Cause she has me in her head Caught me slipping for the first time She said hypnotic, that body be hypnotic Could love it, be hypnotic Them lips, they be hypnotic Lush, they be hypnotic And I'm hooked on it Could she be hypnotic That body be hypnotic That love it be hypnotic Them lips it be hypnotic That lust it be hypnotic And I'm hooked on it Should I fall for love or lose my soul? This is critical. Would it slip me up or bring me low? I was all alone. My walls are down and here she come. And there I go. I just don't know. I've been feeling feelings that I never found. I got my body moving to the rhythms that I never wanted it more than I wanted. Now she got a modem still. Seducing every part of me. I need a loving for the night. Oh, yes, I know she'd be my only vice. If I get a taste, I'ma be alive. But will I be alright? Control my urges Should be a queen or be a serpent I've been too determined But once I taste the bitter I know I won't be hurting Oh, will I be caught in this now? I don't know what's the purpose I don't know what's the purpose I can't control my urges Should be a queen or be a serpent I've been too determined But once I taste the bitter I know I won't be hurting Oh, will I be caught in this now? I don't know what's the purpose I don't know what's the purpose Cause she has me in her hand Caught me slipping for the first time She said hypnotic, that body be hypnotic Could love it be hypnotic Them lips they be hypnotic They lust they be hypnotic And I'm hooked on it